Welcome back, Zero K fans. Sorry about that delay. Although, if you're on YouTube, it doesn't really matter. But for those of you who are watching on Twitch and Hitbox, I apologize. There appear to be some rather odd crash bugs. I haven't had crash bugs like this. I can't remember the last time actually I've had crash bugs like this. I honestly don't know. So, we're going to be moving on to game three of the winner semifinals between Lori and Drone. It's currently 1 1 because it's game three. And. The last game was a really long game in Red Comet that I couldn't see because the game crashed halfway through catching up to it. But it seemed like a big stalemate. What I did see was that it was a massive stalemate. Basically it took forever because neither player could really push hard enough to win the game. And we're going to be on Inculto Wet and I'm a bit worried that same situation may happen. Though Inculto Wet is a bit bigger which could cause it to happen or could cause the player to have enough resources that it really doesn't matter and they end up going past it anyway. Like they end up just, with all the resources they have, they're able to just not care about mismanagement and rustiness and it just works. That or the rust fell off last game. But I think they're probably both really tired, honestly. After 45 minutes of a slog stalemate on red cut, I imagine it'd be tired. I'd be really surprised if they're still eager to go. But they have the one extra match, so that's going to be how things are going to go for now. So we are about to begin. I mean... Lori over in the west side of the map somewhere. Or in the east, I think. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Other way around. I got east and west confused. Yeah, drone on the west side of the map. Lori on the east side of the map. Lori going for ships. Drone probably also going to go for ships because it is a sea map. And I hope you guys got your tea during that extra long tea break. <sighs> I know I did. So, Lodi going for pretty typical start. Nothing unusual about this. Drone, where are they starting? What are they starting with? They have not set up their pregame queue yet. And tr still trying to figure out which side to start on. Starting in the south. And they're going ships as well. Pretty typical setup from both players. Both going for ships. Both going for... Well, I mean, early buildup of economy. There's no reason they wouldn't. So everything is pretty normal. Early Mariner from both sides. Map's big enough that they might as well. There's not much they're going to lose by doing that. And Lori is... Yeah, going for early Mariner. Both players going for the early Mariner. Everything working out fairly well. Right at the start. Look at these. Oh. Hmm. This... Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted. This is the kind of water I wanted. This much clearer. Or... Arguably not? Where the... Okay, sorry. I'm just kind of weirded out because I don't see... The name tags. There should be name tags there. Whatever. Anyway, is that... I'm... No, that's not happening regardless of what I set it to. I must have turned commander name tags off. Why the heck would I turn that off? Anyway, opening snake from Lodi. Nice defense there. Drone setting up their own snakes as well, because why wouldn't you? Ah, that's why they're there. Banner names, alright. Good, now we know who's who. Not sure when that got turned off. That seems weird. That's a normal thing to have on. No matter. Both players setting up their economies. Neither player is really able to harass too much. Although Drone appears to be trying. They will be running in straight to an urchin. Which will stuff that attempt quite handily. Lori, on the other hand, is doing fine. I mean, they don't have... The urchin should stop this. 
Ooh, slow right. That's a thing. That was a thing to bear in mind. Gotta be careful for that. Not a big deal, the Mariner being nearby basically nullified any effect that had. But still, a drone in a position where they do not want to be taking too many risks right now. Both players are fairly even. Whoever starts to lose ground first is going to fall behind. Lori, however, that looks like a naked expansion. The naked expansion if I ever saw one. It's Mariner going round and down. Does have the caretaker here, while Drone, on the other hand, using their money to get a lot more energy early on. Much stronger energy economy. Wow, almost double. And 40 energy to 25, that is a huge difference. And Drone is able to come in some rather undefended areas. Lori has no clue. Drone, however, taking some free pot shots. Free metal extractor for Drone right there. But yeah, the energy economy, I think, is the bigger thing. Because at this point, Lodi's energy economy basically doesn't allow them to do any reclaim. If they manage to get... Well, once they get... They're going to get rid of these snakes, no problem. But once they do, then it's... Whoa, what the... When does Impulse put on snake torpedoes? That I have not seen before. That... Is that a new change? I... Don't understand when or why, but okay, I guess that's a new change. I've never seen that happen before. Mariner not lost, though, and Lodi is getting their energy economy up, but Drone at this point, and have the southwest side of the map, they have... Well, let's see, one Mariner down here, one Mariner over here. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff building up that's... working very well. So dealing with this is going to be a problem. Lo drone up to the north as well. Oh, that metal extractor is almost dead. That urchin will not die in time, even with the slow effect. Down it goes. But drone not giving up. Ooh, oh, this perfect target. They did not go for it. Trying to go for Lori's snakes instead, instead of the energy. That would cripple Lori if they got rid of Lori's wind generators. These ones... Well, not in particular, but just getting rid of any of them, really. Oh, that was so close. Drone does not see that, though. Like, they have no idea that that was there. Oops. But they... Actually, no, they did. What am I saying? This is their ghost vision. They actually have... They have complete knowledge that's there. I don't know why they didn't go for that. That would have been six free wind generators. Six free wind generators just, just like that. Oh, well. These, So these snakes are going to be in a decent position. Lodi's commander rather vulnerable. But Lodi right now, they're just building up the snakes. They have not really lost any of their army. While drones been harassing and losing a lot of their army. They've been overly aggressive. I mean, the urchin's causing some problems here. Actually, that mariner's dead. Mariner's very dead. But even with that, now Lodi's counter-harassment. This should be able to take out pretty much everything to the south here. I mean, three urchin or three snakes rather will get rid of the urchin, and then two to get rid of the metal extractor. That's pretty efficient. Five snakes is a good number, apparently. Good to know. Make a note of that, everyone. Five snakes is a pretty good number for harassment in the water. Drone however, with three snakes is still going to be able to deal some damage, but not as efficiently. And Lori, unfortunately, getting bottled up in this choke point. Not paying much attention to this fight either. I think Lodi is primarily focusing... Yeah, they're focusing entirely on the commander right here. Which kind of makes sense because the commander is important and fully defenseless. If the commander is not getting on land for some reason, I don't know why. This might turn it around. Well, actually, no, it won't. It's more forward economy that's a problem, but the economy in general is fine. Lodi's going to lose the commander, but they're not going to lose much as a result. I mean, it's 9% of their economy just went down. Okay, the Northwest is actually a bit of a problem. A lot of their energy is going to die, too. And the main problem more so is that Lodi just lost a bunch of snakes. And Drone now has a strong army, and Lodi doesn't really. Oh, they're trying to terraform out of the ocean. That is weird. That should work. My understanding is that terraforming is not dependent on being above ground. Otherwise, digging a hole and digging it back up wouldn't work. 
And whenever commanders dig a hole into the ground, they often dig into water, and they dig it back up. But then that's leveling? I don't know. But that's game! Short game, too! Wow. Okay. So, drone wins. Sheesh. I'm not sure to say about that. I mean, drones harassment early on looked like it wasn't doing much, but... Lordy losing their entire snake army on top of a drone expanding, it that... I guess losing the commander was that big. I mean, losing that forward position... Did a big enough job. But yeah, Lori's energy economy was not where it should have been. Or at least not where Drones was, more importantly. Well, a bit of a short match, but that is the winner semifinals. Although, unfortunately, it's only game three. I'm sorry, I couldn't get to see the early ones. Hopefully, I'll figure out what's going on with that crash bug, because that is so annoying. That is so incredibly annoying. So, well then a drone, Lori's going to loser's bracket, which will be, yeah, lower bracket match with Anarchid. Actually, I like lower bracket better, but yeah, they're going for the lower bracket match with Anarchid.